Hello, my Lenderman shop friends. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, I need to fix the agitator in our uh, 26 year old Whirlpool washer. So I thought maybe I'd, I'd bring you along with the, uh, on, on the trek here. Um, I fixed this one probably about 15 years ago. And uh, what I know I need to do is replace the agitator dogs in here. They're called agitator dogs. Um, so it's a really cheap fix and it's really not too intricate. So if, you, um, if you're running into the situation where you're, you notice that your agitator is kind of skipping in there and it doesn't always spin the way it's supposed to and you hear some noises going on, um, or you hear some noise going on, um, it might very well be your, your uh, agitator dogs and it's uh, not too difficult to fix. So let's take a look uh, at how we get to it and then uh, we'll get to work on replacing the dogs. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take off, this is our, uh, you know, the top part here, just, that just kind of pops off. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean a whole lot of this stuff as I have it apart. So I'll just set that, that aside. And then down in here, we'll go ahead and pull uh, that piece off there. That's a covered trying to keep keep moisture as best as possible out of there so this actually looks like it's in pretty good shape um double check this little gasket there you might need to replace that this one here I'm, i think i'm just going to give it a nice little wash with a brush and then uh put a little tiny soap on that before i put it back in there to make it go down nice and easily um okay and then way down in there you can see the 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 uh, dogs as they are and they catch on the gear here and see if I can get it to skip for us here now you could wait until your machine completely stops oh there it goes you could you could wait until your machine completely stops um, working and then fix this uh, but I noticed the other day while I was doing laundry uh, it, it was it it was working all right to do the load but i could tell that i'm going to need to replace these soon so since i have a, a few minutes right now i thought i'd take care of this all right so we need to um we need to get that piece that that um uh, nut out right there or that bolt i'm sorry uh to to release this entire um component here and to do that i have an extension of sorts um, actually, what I will do here, and I forgot to do this before I started the video, is I'm going to tape each one of these pieces together just to make sure it doesn't fall out. Um, and this is an 11 millimeter um, socket here to get way down in there. So whatever you have to put together, um, one, one of these days I will actually get myself a, an extension for my ratchet. Uh, that's a little bit longer than two inches here. Okay, so let me uh, get this taped up and I'll, I'll show you what comes next here. Okay. Look at that green monster. What a what a beauty that is. Not one piece I have here is actually meant to go together with the other piece. This is supposed to be way back here with the ratchet. They actually go together, but of course I had to have that way down there. Okay, so, all right, so we're going to go attack that bolt way down there, and you'll need to, you'll need to hold the bottom part way down here as you turn this, and uh, this seems to come off pretty easy. Wow, let me set that there. I'm holding the bottom part and I'm giving a twist there and that actually came off pretty easily. Um, quite frankly, that was a little bit loose. Maybe that could have been, sorry, maybe that could have been a little bit tighter. So I'm just going to uh, take that off. Let me put the camera down here and I'll show you what happens um, in uh, when I get the nut out here. Bolt out. All right, so I loosen it up and then this piece here just pulls up and this, this whole thing will come out like this. Okay. And, ooh, look at that. All right. So that's there. I'm going to set that in the sink here. And because I'm putting that into the sink, I'm going to put my stopper in, which I should have done earlier. Just in case. I will wash all that out. I'll wash it out in the sink there, too. And then uh, this is, this will come out. I'm going to I'm going to at least wipe that down. I'll take this top piece off and I'll clean that off. Um, when you talk about uh look at a gunk on that. All right. So I'm going to do a little cleaning here and then uh I'll come back to that. All right. Let's take a look over here. 
All right, so let's turn this whole piece upside down. All right, there comes the nut. That's nice. And, not the nut, the bolt. Why do I keep saying nut? I don't know. These guys upside down. All right, that's what the inside looks like. We'll go ahead and uh, give that a nice little brush. I feel those. Yeah, you know, the, the teeth in this on the inside here are not the greatest either. It doesn't seem like. Um, so this, this is what we're replacing these guys here. Um, so they're, they're worn down a little bit. I'll show you a comparison of them. Um, let's go ahead and take this off here. And yeah, that comes off. And then this, see that these guys just come slide right out of there. Just like that. And there's only one way for sure there's only one way that these can go back in. All right, so what I will do here, this is, this is really kind of gross. I should probably be wearing gloves on this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash all this up and then I'll come back once everything's cleaned um, and we'll put it back together. Okay, progress so far. This cleaned up pretty nicely. Um, still a little yellow tint to it. I suppose I could actually thoroughly bleach it, but I think, I think, uh, I think that's pretty good for now and uh, top piece came up pretty good and this is what we're replacing here again I'll show you side by side in just a second when I get the ones out of the package and this was that inside piece where the uh, the dogs actually go on the outside here uh, bolt and uh, this tie down here a little gasket thing all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece out here and um, clean that up as well and that just lifts off like that yikes pretty gross all right and then this here this piece here is down and I'm not going to try to get that up but I will this cleaned up pretty nicely as you see I put the I put the bolt back on there because I didn't want to get too much water down in there I just gave Took my brush, gave a nice little wash around here. Took my toothbrush, kind of got in there as I could. And all this is is like, um, it's just that old soap gets all gunked up in there. Um, so let me see if I can, oh, let's put this over there. So let me get a little bit of wipe on here. Okay, so we're, uh, we're pretty clean up. That looks good. And here's that other plastic piece that goes on here, a collar of some sort. And that has got to work its way back down in here. Uh, get these, get these guys, those grooves right there. Line them up here. Okay, that goes there. All right, now let's take a look at the um, the actual dogs, so you can see a side by side of that. All right, so here are the old ones, and here's the new one. And the, the new one definitely has a little bit more of an edge right there. You can see that right there than these older ones do. But I'm gonna be honest that these old ones don't feel horrible. Um, again, I can't remember when I put these in last. Gotta be about close to 15 years ago. Uh, these things last pretty well. Um, and of course I got these off of Amazon and I got a pack of eight. So I'm good, I'm good, like I'm good. I think forever. <laughs> you can buy a pack of like 20 of these um, for about $5 or so. And uh, you'll, uh, you could do like everybody, all your neighbors. Uh, let me show you the inside here. Um, see that those teeth down in there, kind of like the gear teeth that the, uh, the dogs go into. It is quite possible that, that that can also go on you. And then you, I guess you would need to replace this entire piece. I'm hoping that's not the issue with, with this machine. Um, otherwise I have to replace that. Uh, so let's get this back together and we'll see how things go. Let's put these guys back in. 
So they just kind of scoot right in here, just like that. And that's, that's when they're catching. That's when they're not catching, I guess we could say. Catch, not catch. So you just kind of set them in like that. Like that. Turn it again. And put this one in. And turn it again. Just like that. So that they all can close like that, open up, I guess we can say, right? All right. And that's how they catch, and that's how their agitator moves about. And then this, uh, see it? There's some, uh, see the little nubs uh, in there? Put them down right like that. So that now that's down nice and tight, and now it can sit like that, and they're not going to come out. Okay, so that's what that black ring does. And before you put it back together, if you want to do a little test to see how these guys catch, a little spin, and then have it go back the other way. You can see that they really just kind of fly out there and catch. Kind of see what they're doing in action there. All right, so I've put that piece back down in there. Let me show you how I did that. All right, so this, this piece just kind of falls in there. Try to get it down as straight as you can. You stick your hand up through the other way. Kind of guide it down. All right, there it is. Back to what I was just showing you there. All right, let's go ahead and put it back into the machine. Set it back on top. You could probably um, put this big piece on first, right? And then drop in the agitator part with the new dogs on it. The new agitator dog. So you're just kind of fishing this piece around until it gets itself down in there. Okay, so now I have it down part way. I'm going to press down a little bit more. So I feel it lock in. Okay, there it is. All right, and that's what that is there. See how those things are sticking out there? They're feeling pretty good right now. All right, now let's get the uh, the bolt back in there, and for that. I'm actually going to tape the bolt uh, to my uh, to my driver over here, and that way it won't fall out as I'm putting it down there and uh, become a big hassle. All right, so give me a second here. I'm going to tape this up. All right, I almost forgot to mention here. Um, this this um, bolt here has a little rubber washer on it, so I cleaned that up. And then I'm going to take a little tiny bit of plumber's putty. That's plumber's putty. Or, uh, plumber's grease. I'm sorry. Please do not put putty on there. Uh, plumber's grease. And I'm going to put a, just a slight bit on, on the black washer here. Um, so that that seats nice and, nice and uh, strong down in there. Just enough tape on there to keep that bolt on. So I stick it down in here. Right where it needs to go. And again, the, the grease that I put on there is hardly noticeable on, on the washer. I didn't put any on the, the nut itself. Okay, so we'll get this going. And then, ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, then I want to get that tape off of there because I don't want the tape. I don't want that tape to get stuck in there. See, it was just a tiny bit of tape on there so that I could get that down there. I'm going to finish tightening it up and I'm going to put my hand down there and, and hold that. Okay, there we go. You see those grab on. All right, let's give it a little run through. I need to, I need to run it to rinse out water here because uh, there's a little dirty water at the bottom. Um, all right, but before I do that, let's 
put this piece back down in there. I should probably put a little, little soap on that too or something. I think I will put just a little tiny bit of soap along there. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna take a little bit of dial soap. Rub that on there. Okay, got a little soap on there. Slide that right back down. So that clicks in, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Close that better. All right, and then this piece clips right back on, just like that. There we have it. Looks like we have success. That's going pretty well. I have a few towels in there. I got a pair of pants in there. Um, so there's definitely some weight in there right now, and it's it's moving right along. And I want to make sure I did this uh, tester run before I let the family use the, uh, the updated washer. And that is how I installed my agitator dogs on my 26-year-old Whirlpool washer. Uh, and that is something you can do yourself. These cost just a couple dollars, takes a little bit of time, do a little cleaning while you have everything apart. Probably a, uh, an appliance technician coming to your house would not do all the cleaning that I just did here. So do yourself the favor, do a little cleaning while you put it back together or before you put it back together and you'll be well on your way to, um, to extending the life of your already <laughs> aging washing machine for a few more years. Folks, if you got anything out of this video, I'd love it if you gave a like, maybe subscribe, and, and uh, tell your friends about it. Until the next time, thanks for joining me here on Lunderman Shop. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.